Imagine a left-handed batter with a swing so perfect, it's been described as a masterpiece of kinetic art. This is the story of Ken Griffey Jr., one of the greatest talents ever to grace the diamond. A Hall of Famer, 13-time All-Star, and the first number one draft pick to be inducted into Cooperstown, Griffey's career spanned 22 remarkable years in Major League Baseball. His charm extended far beyond the baseball field, as his radiant smile and charisma transcended the sport, making him an icon known globally. Griffey Jr.'s journey isn't just about baseball, it's about family, perseverance, and a legacy that continues to shape the sport even today. If you're a fan of athleticism at its peak, tales of undying determination, or simply the mesmerizing allure of a flawless home run swing, you're in the right place. Welcome to the life and career of the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. Born George Kenneth Griffey Jr. on November 21, 1969 in Donora, Pennsylvania, a small steel town that also gave birth to another baseball legend, Stan Musial. Ken Griffey Jr.'s destiny seemed to be etched in the stars from the beginning. He was born into a baseball family with his father, Ken Griffey Sr., being a professional baseball player and a key member of the Big Red Machine, the nickname for the Cincinnati Reds team that dominated the sport in the mid-70s. Growing up, Ken Griffey Jr.'s life revolved around baseball. He traveled with his father during the summer, honing his skills on the sidelines of major league parks. His father's influence was monumental, teaching him not just the intricacies of the sport, but also imparting lessons on humility, work ethic, and the respect for the game that would later become a signature of Jr.'s career. Despite the unique privilege of growing up in the shadow of major league stadiums, Griffey Jr.'s childhood was not without its challenges. He faced bouts of loneliness and struggled with his father's frequent absence due to his demanding career. These experiences brought a level of maturity to Griffey at a young age, forging a resilience that would become crucial in his future career. At Moeller High School in Cincinnati, Ohio, Griffey Jr. began to turn heads. He demonstrated incredible talent and potential, excelling as a two-sport athlete in football and baseball. However, baseball was his true calling and his performance in high school led him to be the first overall pick in the 1987 Major League Baseball draft at just 17 years old. This was just the start for the young prodigy. Little did the world know, a legend was in the making. In 1987, Ken Griffey Jr. began his professional journey with the Seattle Mariners, heralding the dawn of an era that would forever change the face of the franchise and the sport. Griffey's career took off like a rocket, and by 1989, at just 19, he was starting in center field for the Mariners on opening day, becoming the youngest player in the major leagues. He wasted no time making an impression, hitting a double in his first at-bat. The Griffey smile quickly became a fixture in the Mariners' dugout, a youthful, joyous symbol of the franchise's future. Griffey's first few seasons were marked by an ever-increasing tally of remarkable feats. He claimed his first All-Star nod in 1990, the first of 10 consecutive selections, and his first Gold Glove, an accolade he would win for 10 consecutive years, highlighting his exceptional skills in the outfield. A pivotal moment came in 1990 when Griffey and his father made history by becoming the first father-son duo to play on the same team. They further etched their names in the annals of baseball lore when they hit back-to-back -back home runs, a moment that Junior would later describe as his favorite memory in baseball. In 1997, Griffey had a career-high season. He led the American League with 56 home runs, won the AL MVP award, and was a pivotal force in leading the Mariners to the playoffs. But his accomplishments weren't just individual. He was integral to the Mariners' refuse-to-lose ethos that revived baseball in Seattle and led to the construction of a new ballpark. His stint with the Cincinnati Reds starting in 2000 was marked by numerous injuries. But even then, Griffey provided flashes of his brilliance. He notched his 500th home run on Father's Day in 2004 with his father in the stands, a poignant tribute to the man who shaped his baseball journey. Griffey's career wasn't all seriousness and records, though. He was known for wearing his cap backward during batting practice, a small rebellious act that young fans loved and even emulated. He once raced his teammate in the middle of a game after a power outage caused a delay, much to the delight of the fans. These little moments encapsulate Griffey's approach to the game, a blend of exceptional talent, love for the sport, and a childlike enthusiasm that earned him the nickname, The Kid. Griffey returned to the Mariners in 2009 for a victory lap, 
And in 2010, in a fitting full-circle moment, he hit his 630th and final home run in a Mariner's uniform. His retirement mid-season was a quiet departure for such a massive figure, but Griffey had always let his play speak louder than words. Over his career, Griffey amassed 630 home runs, putting him sixth on the all-time list, won 10 Gold Glove Awards, and was selected to 13 All-Star teams. But more than his achievements, Griffey's career was characterized by the joy and exuberance with which he played the game, always with a backward cap and a broad, infectious smile. As the sun set on Griffey's playing days, a new chapter dawned. His post-career life has been marked by continued involvement with baseball and beyond, with a commitment to giving back that speaks volumes about his character. In 2016, Griffey was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, garnering an incredible 99.3% of the votes, the highest percentage ever at that time. His induction speech was a heartfelt tribute to his family, his fans, and the game he loved so much. Griffey's influence on the sport extends well beyond his own achievements. He joined Major League Baseball's front office as a consultant, advising Commissioner Rob Manfred on youth baseball development and improving diversity at all levels of the game, reflecting his lifelong passion for making baseball accessible and enjoyable for all. Moreover, Griffey has utilized his fame to advocate for worthy causes. He's been particularly active in promoting children's health care and education, using his platform to make a difference in countless lives. In the realm of popular culture, Griffey is a legend. From his signature Nike shoes to his appearances in TV shows and video games, his influence extends far beyond the baseball field. He's arguably one of the first baseball players to truly permeate pop culture, and his iconic backwards hat and radiant smile are imprinted in the minds of sports fans around the globe. Griffey's legacy to the Mariners, and indeed to all of baseball, is immense. His unbridled joy for the game, combined with his exceptional talent, helped to save baseball in Seattle in the 1990s and inspired a new generation of fans and players. Many of today's stars, including Mike Trout and Bryce Harper, have cited Griffey as a key influence in their own careers. His number 24 jersey is retired by the Mariners, and a statue of Griffey stands outside T-Mobile Park in Seattle a fitting tribute to the man who gave so much to the city and the franchise. In reflecting on Ken Griffey Jr.'s remarkable journey, it's not just about the incredible stats or the awards. It's about the way he played the game, with joy, with enthusiasm, and with respect. It's about the love between a father and a son, the trials and tribulations of a life under the spotlight, and the legacy of a player who truly changed the game. It's the story of The Kid, a tale as quintessentially American as baseball itself.